Hello, my diamonds, my Teletubbies. I'm looking at divorce court right now. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Hold on. Yeah, that was my diabetic. Uh, my sugar is low. My sugar is 69. That's very low. I got to go eat something. I don't know. But anyway, liar, liar, your pants are on fire. It's this uh, couple and the man, he suspect his wife of cheating. And uh, they gave her a lie detect test and she denied ever having cheated. And then lo and behold, she failed the lie detect test on every level. She's been cheating like crazy. So then we have to get into the mindset of why is this woman cheating like this? When they first started out, she said anytime her husband, she reaches out to her husband for sex, he always either rejects her or he always has to go into the bathroom first and he has to look at porno. So he have to look at other women to get himself aroused just to touch his own wife. Now, and I'm looking at this woman here. She's not like sloppy fat and all crazy looking fat. And he's no, he's no, uh, a, a cover of a GQ. He don't belong on GQ magazine. He don't look like one of these, uh, uh, TikTok models that we see at the same time. You know, a lot of these men, they don't feel that looking at porno and lusting after other women it doesn't have an effect on your partner. Yeah, it does. Especially when they're sitting around here looking at women that don't look anything like you. They don't even resemble you. Like I remember my ex-husband, his porno collection was all Caucasian women, all white women. Anybody who had light skin, pale skin, that's what he was into. And I was like, whoa, what's up? And, you know, and, and then I'm looking at the kind of women that he be looking and lusting after on the street. These women don't resemble my body size. They don't resemble my looks. They don't look anything like me. So, you know, after a while, a woman, she starts to say, you know, she puts two and two together, baby. And she's like, wait a minute. And then he's treating me badly too. He don't treat me the way that I know a husband is supposed to treat his wife. The way a man treats you, that's the way he feels about you. So as I'm looking at this uh, wife who is cheating on her husband, which I would never condone that, I think she should have gotten a divorce first and then move on. You know what I mean? And when it comes to trying to be satisfying in the bedroom, like I told you, honey, I will always choose to be single because it's easier. It's just so much easier. And I have a very healthy sex drive. I do. That's why I have the rose and I have the rabbit. I like multiple orgasms. I like someone who can keep up with me. And I don't want to have to worry every three months, I have to go to the clinic hoping that I haven't contracted anything because just because you're married, that don't mean that you're safe. Because my brother gave my sister-in-law AIDS. That was her husband. Her husband, someone you think you're safe with. This was in the early 80s when they only had AZT. She died before he did. And to watch my sister-in-law waste away the way that I saw her waste away, it was just, it was traumatizing for me. It was PTSD. It was a horror show. Because he couldn't keep his eggplant where it belonged. And that's... uh. One of the ways I found out that my husband was unfaithful because he gave me trichomonas. You see, that's why you have to still go. You have to keep going to the clinic, even though you're married. And I know I'm not the type to do cutthroat. I don't stab people in the back with betrayal. You know, that's one of my pet peeves is loyalty and integrity is number one with me. So I knew damn well I wasn't stepping out. So that automatically told me this is a no good cheating, low life, son of a B-I-T-C-H. You know what I mean? And I'm one and done, especially when there's, no, there's evidence. And then I also heard him in his room where he made a mistake and butt dialed me on his phone. And I heard him in the room with the 304. You know what a 304 is, right? Just Google it. Yeah. 
And that's what this dude, the only thing he cared about was drugs, thoughts, street whores, 304s. That's the only thing that made him happy. So I'm listening to this wife, and even though she failed the lie detect test, I understand why she went astray. I don't condone it, but I understand it. In order for you to touch me, you have to be looking at porno. You can't get anything going unless you're lusting after some other woman. And let me tell you something else, ladies. A lot of the times they're not even looking at the woman. It's the man that's exciting them. <laughs> Honey, like I said, it is just so much easier. I don't have, I love my rabbit. You know, I hang out at the Adam and Eve adult play store, honey. They have everything. They got blow up dolls. They got the uh, people who can give you fellatio with rotating tongues. They do it all. If you want somebody to lay up with <laughs> disease free, hang out at the Adam and Eve adult toy store. It's the best. You don't have to worry about dude losing his erection premature ejaculation, delayed ejaculation. He got to either use a pill. So now we got to wait till that kick in. He got to use a pump or he got to have injections or he got to have one of these eggplant rings. You know, you got to pump it up first. We got to pump him up. I use that on my husband because he had prostate cancer and with prostate cancer, he had to undergo radiation. So I had to go and get, oh child, the things I could tell you about this marriage, it was a, ooh. I even went and got him a strap on, you know, you, could, you know, like the lesbians use, I got him the, st <laughs> the stuff that I could tell you, the stories that I could tell you. Men don't understand that they have an expiration date. Women don't have that. We are like the energizer bunny. We could keep going and going and going. And these men don't understand the more you allow these women to pump the life out of you and suck the life out of you. Because, you know, semen, that's life. It creates life. That's life. These women are sucking and pumping the life out of these dudes. And that's why early on in life, they're starting to become impotent early. So I'm sympathizing with this woman here on divorce court. Liar, liar, your pants are on fire, child. And I'm looking in her eyes as she breaks down and cry because she probably really didn't want to cheat. You know, I, I just, I just say, look, honey, before you do the cheating thing, get a divorce girlfriend because that's, that's just disgusting. I, I think cheating is just a, ooh, it's the worst thing ever. If this is not working out, we have to go into some damn counseling and, uh, try to communicate because without communication, there is no relationship really without respect. There is no love and without trust, honey. There is no reason to continue. Once the trust is broken, it's over. That's just going to be a life of nothing but stress. PMS, pain, misery, suffering, and stress. Do you know people are losing their hair early because of stress? People are catching heart attacks, strokes. They're dying early deaths because of stress. You know, when you took your marriage vows, you never vowed to let someone destroy you, honey. And when somebody starts freaking you out too much, it's time to go. It's time to bounce. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. And just because you're married, that don't mean that you're safe. Because a lot of these married men, they have a 304 on the side. You could trust and believe that. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.